When printing on certain types of substrates, notably film substrates, it is necessary to treat the film to help ensure the ink does not easily scratch or flake off the material. This is accomplished with a Corona treater. The film undergoes a much higher intensity treatment process during manufacturing, but this treatment level decreases with time. So many presses that are configured to run film are equipped with a lower intensity Corona treater to boost the treatment level before printing. The smooth surface of film and the low surface energy make it more difficult to print than paper. However, there are many benefits to using film as part of the packaging structure. Each film type offers different advantages. Some packaging structures may combine two or more layers of materials, paper and or film, to create an overall structure that meets in-use needs. For example, it may be important to protect the product from both moisture vapor and oxygen transmission, which could require two different types of film. Similar to how length is measured in centimeters or inches, we measure surface energy of a substrate in dyes. Because the film's surface energy decreases over time, it is important to measure it prior to printing in a material. We can use a dyne solution to measure the surface energy of the film to determine if it is sufficient for ink to adhere. Different materials have different target dyne levels, which can also be influenced by the type of ink system being used. For example, a polyester film with solvent ink must have a higher dyne level than a polyethylene film with solvent ink. Likewise, water-based ink systems typically require a film with a higher surface energy to ensure they stick to the film, which is why they are more challenging to print with than solvent inks. In contrast, surface tension is an attractive force present that pulls the molecules of ink towards each other. So how does this impact how we print? Think about this. When we put an ink on a substrate, do we want the ink to beat up or do we want it to wet out? Consider this example. If I decide to wax my car, I'm changing the surface energy of the car surface so it is weaker. By decreasing the car's surface energy, the surface tension of the water is sufficient to hold the water molecules together so the water beads up and rolls off the car. In printing, we want the opposite effect. We need the ink to wet out so it lays flat on the film surface. Therefore, the surface tension of the substrate must be high enough to overcome the surface energy of the ink molecules and allow the ink to lay down on the film. The surface tension can be tested with dyne solutions or dyne pens, but it's important to understand that they both expire every six months and must be replaced. It is also important to note that a dyne solution is considered a hazardous material. Do not allow the solution to come in contact with the skin, mouth, or eyes, and be sure to use in a well-ventilated area. Pregnant women should avoid using dyne solutions. Other tests to check ink adhesion include the tape test, the crinkle test, and the scratch test. If you see print issues such as poor ink laydown, poor ink trap, and pinholing, it is recommended to test to make sure that you're printing on the correct side of the material and that you have sufficient surface energy for the ink to adhere. While we can only effectively change the surface tension of the substrate, it is important to understand that the surface tension is a factor of all points as the ink travels through the ink metering system. In fact, the surface tension must increase from one stage to the next to ensure ink transfers to its final destination. While the treater fitted on a printing press is not as powerful as the manufacturing system, it must be vented properly and maintained to ensure ozone emissions do not escape into the press room. Typically, the treatment power is only sufficient to bump the film surface tension slightly, maybe as little as a couple dyne points. But it is also important to not overtreat the film and unintentionally backtreat the material, meaning the back side of the web is treated as well. This could cause issues with block rolls at the unwind or other converting or finishing issues. When running film, it is common for printers to turn the corona treater on, at least a low level, even when the film measures with sufficient dyne. As long as it is not over-treating the film, it can help to clean or burn off impurities that have bloomed to or settled on the surface. Testing each new roll of material helps to ensure the operator does not waste time and materials chasing a print issue only to find the substrate has gone bad. To help minimize issues with ink adhesion, Remember, surface energy decreases over time and can be accelerated by environmental conditions. Always practice good inventory management using the oldest material first. Be sure to store materials within recommended temperature and humidity ranges. Never lay rolls flat on the ground. Either suspend them with core boards or on a rack or set them on their end. Always include a date and time record for partial rolls that are going back into inventory. Finally, be sure to optimize tension settings on press to ensure partial rolls are in good condition and can be stored properly.